Now let's talk about Texas bays and estuaries. Estuaries and bays form where rivers meet the ocean, mixing freshwater from far inland with saltwater from the Gulf of Mexico. An estuary is defined as a partially enclosed body of water along the coast where one or more streams or rivers enter and mix freshwater with seawater. A bay is defined as a body of water partially enclosed by land that is directly open or connected to the ocean. In Texas, many bays are also estuaries. There's often no clear point at which the estuary ends and a bay begins. Some estuaries simply extend out into the Gulf where there are no bays. These places are often called deltas. The largest delta in the Gulf is formed by the Mississippi River in Louisiana. If you traveled along Texas's almost 400 miles of coastline, you would find over 2.6 million acres of estuary habitat and seven major bays. Each bay is very different from the other. These differences give rise to the high biodiversity of aquatic ecosystems along the Texas coast. The coast from Sabine Lake on the border between Texas and Louisiana to Galveston Bay is characterized by extensive wide wetlands that go from freshwater to brackish to saltwater as you move closer to the Gulf. The coast from Galveston Bay to Corpus Christi Bay consists of large bays and estuaries supplied with freshwater inflow by rivers. But as you move south down the Texas coastline, there's less and less freshwater inflow. The coast from Corpus Christi Bay to the border with Mexico consists of the upper and lower Laguna Madre. The water in this bay, or lagoon, is often hypersaline. Salinities there frequently exceed that of average seawater. How can this be? Because the Laguna Madre has few inlets to the Gulf, little freshwater inflow. For example, there aren't really any large rivers flowing into the Laguna Madre. And there's very little rainfall in the area. And also, there's a high evaporation rate there because, well, it's hot and dry, particularly during the summer. All these factors increase the salinity above normal seawater. Laguna Madre is the only hypersaline bay in the United States and one of only six in the entire world. Sadly, poor conservation has now meant less freshwater flowing into the Nueces Bay, causing periods of hypersalinity in that bay as well. Humid cause factors can disturb natural salinity levels, creating the unusual situation of higher salinity where the river enters the estuary than where the bay actually empties into the Gulf. Now, most estuaries are fresher near where rivers enter and saltier near the ocean. The coast from Galveston Bay all the way to Mexico is characterized by barrier islands. Barrier islands are long, narrow islands of sand that run parallel to the mainland. They form the seaward side of many of Texas's bays and lagoons. They shield important wetlands and seagrass habitat along the bay side of the islands. That's the side facing toward the mainland. And they help protect coastal communities from storm surges. The longest barrier island in the world is Padre Island, which is 130 miles long and protects nearly a third of the Texas Gulf Coast. 